Okay. So we want to throw back or against a hunter. Maybe we keep a maelstrom portal. Otherwise, throw it all back. So the point in this deck, obviously, is... Oh yeah, no, I guess coin is normally the zero cost spell. Uh, get the Malagos down, play all the damage spells at the face. And you use the uh, Spirit of the Frog as your draw engine. And then I've got these Muck Morphers to either grab me A, a Spirit of the Frog, or B, a Malagos, or C, a Thorazan, all of which are important. But generally speaking, you'd rather not get the Spirits, because those are not going to win you the game. Elec. What did he... What did he just... Oh, I just saw a scavenger hyena. Okay. And there is so much damage in this deck that you can throw a lot of it away as removal, and it's fine. But you got two healing reins. So those definitely keep you going for a while. Sure. Okay. Um, we're passing here. Next turn, I'm probably lightning storming. If I really need to, I can Volcano, coin a Volcano. No, two secrets is fine. Okay, I gotta remember, Cat Trick is definitely something that aggro decks would run. Wandering Monster. Like, he seems like an aggressive deck, so that's the kind of thing you'd see. But the cat trick is going to go off after my spell, right? Yeah, afterwards. So, knowing that there are walls out there like that, is running a silence minion in your deck an option going forward with it? Yeah, I'd say so. It depends on how often you expect to see it. We're kind of just going to react to the meta as we see what we run into. So far, that was one person, and I'm definitely not going to change everything for one person. But it's definitely a consideration. Yeah, he definitely did have Cat Trick. I kind of expected that, but I still think that the Lightning Storm was the better play. Uh, but yeah, but I think that the, the slot that I had with the weapon in is unimportant enough that I'd probably still put the silence in just in case because silence is pretty flexible anyways all right we can go for a heal here it's just because we're kind of or I could turn these into two two drops and they might be less threatening and I feel like Devolve won't be too important later on. Because if I heal for 12, he's still doing more than half of that next turn. Now let's see what he gets. Oh god. He got another cat trick. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to Volcano then. I'm hoping that he commits a lot to this board in a second here. Hatchling. So many secrets. Well, at least we know it's not Cat Trick.
I don't think I have any expectation of dying from seven man seven health when he's got one card in his hand. So I think we're good to just play this and pass. And then we get to do the healing rain next turn. Uh, I'll be overloaded for two, so I'll have... Well, I can do a Spirit of the Frog thing. But then my hand's gonna stay full. Or no, I'll be... No, I, my hand won't be full. It'll be nine cards. Didn't get the Ancestor's Call there, which is kind of what I was hoping for. So we currently have four damage spells. We haven't done any damage to him yet, so there's obviously we can't start using it yet. But that sometimes happens where you get enough damage on them that you just get to finish them off with the stuff without the Malagos. He's definitely barely hanging on here. But okay. Um That's not lethal. Shouldn't be. Even if I hit the Malagos. I think we do this again. So now I have the Ancestor's Call in my hand. Which doesn't matter unless I draw the Malagos. I think we can throw this away. We get a totem here. I am in a position where I am full on cards. I could just drop the Master's Call right now, since we're in a good position anyways, and I don't have a 5 that I'll pull. Let's do it. Alright, good. I didn't hit the, I didn't hit the Muck Morpher, because that would have sucked. And he didn't have a minion, so he didn't get anything. So now, if this hits Malagos, we're pretty much, we win. We're good to go. 50-50 chance. 100% chance. Okay, now you get to see how the deck works. Kaplow! <laughs> and I had more. I could have kept going there. It took quite a while for me to get that off, but I got there. Okay. I will keep my Muck Morpher. But yeah, I like, I like the Muck Morphers. I used to have barns in here. But now I have basically two barns. Because barns got nerfed anyway, so these are better than barns now. Because they ignore each other as well. They only go for other things. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your birthday wishes and uh, New Year's wishes. I hope you have a good New Year, too. And I'll, I, I hope I will see you again. 
I've been playing Priest OTK Wilds. I did 80 damage on Control Warrior that was already tanked up. Oh, that's amazing. That's so awesome. It's my birthday in uh, 55 minutes. Yes, almost my birthday. I'm, I'm sure we will be... We'll end, like, right after that. So you can be there for my birthday. But thank you. Thank you. So I won't be streaming tomorrow because I'll be doing birthday stuff and New Year's stuff. I got both the Muck Morphers in my hand. Thought stole a lightning bolt. That's interesting. Okay. So these are still one in four chance Malagos. I think I'm just going to drop it and see what I get. Hope for Thorsan. Oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so now this one is set up. It's cheaper. I can now kind of set it up for like... I guess I only hit two damage spells though. But maybe the Thorsan sticks. It is a four attack. Maybe they don't run like... Uh, forbidden words and stuff. Or... I guess there's... um Entomb in wild. So that's an option. I don't think a lot of people run in tomb though. It's still a little slow. If it was a Galakron deck, maybe you'd have the five mana removal card, the time rip. It did. It did stick. We did get to keep it. And I got a Spirit of the Frog. Okay, we can grab some stuff. Okay, this won't pull anything. And we can just do some face damage with this now that it's stuck too. Hmm. I'm gonna use this and then I get a discount on maybe, well I guess, I guess the chance of me getting crackles pretty low. I think maybe going for this because then I'm gonna get a one cost and all the one cost ones are damaged ones. I guess I basically just did that to do one damage. But it's also a cycle so I like thinned my deck a bit too. Still stick? Oh my god it's still gonna stick. Holy crap! How many things am I gonna get off of this Thorsan? It's one in three chance Malagos now. Do I have lethal with that if I do it? I have three spells. Six. And I could draw more stuff too. So that's six. Uh, seven. Thirteen. Yeah, if I hit Malagos, I kill him. Oh okay, wait, let's just let's just try for the high roll. Two Thor sands, though. Oh my god, a little bit unnecessary. I can't, I can't just play this and kill him now, can I? I can! Oh my god, I still have enough mana. <laughs> I still have enough mana with two mana. Oh my goodness. I had way more mana than I needed. I had another... Oh my goodness. 
That's like full lethal with two mana. I feel like healing rain might be necessary against a mage. I'm gonna keep it. I think mages are, for the most part, very aggressive. But I might be wrong. Oh. Hello, Malagos. We also have threes to grab our ancestors' call with using the Spirit of the Frog. I just love the, like... Oh my goodness, there it is. I love how, like... Everything works smoothly and it flows perfectly with the spirit so you can just grab what you want when you want it. You can know exactly what you're going to draw. It's very cool. I mean, you don't grab exactly what you want unless you only have one thing, but you know what your options are in a smaller pool than the entire deck. Which is every other card draw. Dragon Highlander, probably. We <laughs> got the Thorazan, too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Eh. Didn't get the Ancestor's Call yet. But I can use the Healing Rain to get it. Not this one. Okay. We have we have quite a bit of damage spells too. We'll probably get more before everything goes off. Oh right, this is gonna die. I forgot about that part. <laughs> it's a little bit of a uh, wrench in the plan. I should have I should have just lightning bolted that. I was thinking about it too. Oh, never mind. I got a new one. I do really want a Thor sand next turn though, but I guess I don't need to. Can Thorasan on seven? Six. Fourteen. Twenty-four. Lethal. Okay, so we do need to do this. Although that's there now. Well, I guess I can throw a Frost Shock at that, and that deals with that. I just wanted to play that thin my deck a bit with that. But yeah, I think we're we're good from here. This is still alive. But oh well, he's not Highlander, he's got two arcane breaths, so it is just dragon hand mage or something. We did see something a little bit like that earlier. Oh, I don't like secrets. That could be a lot of problems. Okay, maybe I do want to clear what he's got then. I can trigger his counterspell with that. Th 
Taurus and it's probably gonna get killed by something or like if it gets like mirror entity that's also terrible now let's do this it was counter spell it was counter spell it wasn't the poly one that's why you check first okay so he needs 14 damage to kill me. He's got seven mana. There's no way. Okay, we'll be fine. Wait, does Zephyrus kill me? He could get an extra eight damage there, and then he'd have three mana. No, I, I don't think so. I think I still live. Even in the best case scenario, he can't kill me. There's no way. Oh wait, he does have spell damage. Oh, maybe he could kill me. If he played enough cheap spells. But no, I don't think so. He's not like a freeze mage or anything. Oh, ice block's a problem though. Crap. I forgot about that. Ice block is definitely a problem. Okay, if I do it now, can I also remove his board <laughs> at the same time? I'm using three here, and then I have five left over. One, two, three, zero. Yeah, I can still do the lightning storm afterwards if I need to. Okay, we're gonna if he has if he has ice block, we're just gonna proc it and then clear his board. Well yes, he did have ice block. But we're okay. Now, if I get polymorphed, that would suck, but we can still kill him. I just need to draw my damage naturally. He doesn't have Reno because he's not, not Highlander. No! No! Yes! There we go. <laughs> okay. I was a little bit worried there. I'd heal out of range. But I got to keep